it's Karen. And Ruth, hello. Hello and greetings from space. We're on the NASA space station. This is the best reception on the planet, isn't it? Yes, and they have the best recording equipment. Satellite precision. Because? Because we have an important phone call to listen into. The weekly tap. Yes, we have to know what's going on between Chubbs and Merrill. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, Things, I believe, have been getting very juicy with those two. Uh, so I believe. So. We're going to get the tea straight from the heifer's mouths. Unity, Kuwaiti branch. May I take your order, please? Oh, uh, hello. Please may I speak to Meryl Sarau? Chubbs, is that you? Is that you, Meryl? Yes, it's me. What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm actually having lunch with a friend, but um, I've come to where she works and she's popped just to the ladies' room for a minute, so uh, the phone rang, so I just picked it up um, because uh, it's my friend. But it's your phone? My friend's borrowing it on a lunch break. Oh. That's what's happened. Yeah, shut up. (laughs) <laughs> so you've got a friend then? I've got a friend. How marvellous. She's so caring. Is she? She's delightful. She's elegant. She's beautiful inside and out. She bought me flowers. Flowers? Flowers. Wow. Did I say she bought me flowers? No. I got flowers off this new friend of mine. Wow, she sounds really nice. She is really nice. Did she get you a gift? She bought me peanut butter, chocolate, things and flowers. And flowers? Wow. Flowers. White flowers for friendship. I thought white flowers were for funerals. Uh, no, no, they're for friendship out here in the Middle East because she's Middle Eastern because she's my Middle Eastern friend. Oh. We've been friends for ages. How long? Three days. <laughs> very close. I'm really pleased for you, Meryl. I'm very pleased as well, chubs. There's nothing like a little friend. Everybody needs a friend. Everybody should have a friend. Chippy yeah. Cheryl hasn't got a friend, you know, not a friend in the world. Chippy Cheryl? No, nope, that's why she's like she is. Evil. Belly no, mate. Evil. I'm telling you. Never believe what she's been up to this week. What's she been up to? <sighs> you never believe it. All I did was dox her and put up a picture of her mother on my channel and say some really nasty things. But that's between me and Allah, as well, you know. Yeah. You'll never believe what she did. She put a picture up of my dad. And do you know what she said about him? No. She said, he's got more hair than me. <laughs> and it's not true. It's a lie. If I took this hijab off, do you know who I look like now? One of the Kardashians. Which one? All of them. All, all of them. Put together. Squashed together. With hair. <laughs> Fancy saying that that picture of that chap, not my mother's brother. Not th- Funkle. Not Funkle, no. This other fella. Yeah, she said he's... I couldn't believe it. She's full of hate. So is he not really your dad? I think that's to me and Allah. Oh, and, uh, and your mother and your uncle. Yeah. And um, just because I don't know him from Adam and just because I've never, you know, I don't know who he is or where he lives or his family. But it's Chippy Cheryl's fault. Well, it's always Chippy Cheryl's fault if it's not Beck's fault. Oh, well. And do you know what else she did? Go on. She put up a picture of Salah's family tree. No. Yeah. <gasps> I was so shocked when I looked at it. I didn't know half of them existed. I thought he just had a father and a sister. It was a shock to me. Have you never met them? Well, no. Why not? Because I've been busy. You know what it's like? You know what it's like on YouTube? Being a... Travelling. Being a busy vlogger. Eating. Eating. Travelling. Treadmilling. Tread... Oh, three minutes. I'm up to three minutes a week now. You you... up to three minutes a week last week? No, it's three minutes a fortnight last week. It wasn't. Liar. It Shut wasn't. up. Shut up. <laughs> Aye. I'll block you. I'll say nothing. I'll, I'll block nothing. you. What about you? I noticed your back full throttle. Well, yeah, a little bit of an issue there. What was the issue? You looked fabulous on your vlog. Well, I've got a bit of a problem, Meryl. Well, what problem have you got? You look great. You sound great. Yeah, but Tommy kicked me out. <gasps> Tommy? Tommy. The love of your life? Yeah. Well, that's not gentle care in love. What happened? Well, she just said, fuck off, fatty. <gasps> oh, I bet Chippy Gerald's got to her as well. Or Beck. Or Beck. He was Beck. He was definitely Beck. Telling lies about yeah. you. So do you know where I am now? 
Go on. Grandma's house. Well, I didn't like to say, but on your vlog, I mean, you looked gorgeous, Queen. But it was a bit shabby. It was a bit shabby. Is your grandma's house a bit shabby? Well, she's old, isn't she? Yeah, it looked like old lady furniture. Yeah, I mean, I, what can I do? Well, I can't decorate, can I? No. She welcomed you back with open arms, though. Well, not exactly. I just kind of landed on a doorstep because, uh, you know, I gave up my flats. Yeah. So I told my mum, empty the flat, get rid of all the stuff, get rid of the lease, so I had nowhere else to go. So you've ended up at Grandma's? Yeah. Didn't Grandma kick you out originally? Well, she did years ago, but we kind of made up a bit since. She softened up a bit. She softened hell. up and she said, I want a $10,000 down payment if you're going to move it. Oh, well, that was good of her. I thought that was dead reasonable, she, yeah. 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 She's a gentle soul. She's, she's got that gentle Grandma love <laughs> after she kicked you out. So what about your mother then? What's happening there? Is she talking to you? Oh, I don't even talk about my mother. Oh, she's a witch. My mother moved, you know. Did she? Yeah, she moved out of state. Did she? Did she yeah. leave any forward in her dress? No. <gasps> oh, I knew there was some old with your mother. I think it's disgusting. I do. After all I did for her. I know. You let her run you around everywhere. I know. You took her out to lunch. I gave her my dog. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you gave her your dog. I mean... She stole your dog, didn't she? Did she steal your dog? Well, I think what happened was... You remember Gracie? The cat, yeah. The cat I used to have a destiny. Yeah. And you know, like, like you know what happened oh, to Gracie? Yeah, yeah, say no more about that. Yeah. My, well, you and my secret. Yeah. Well, kind of the same thing happened to Twinkie. Aha. So... Oh, well. On the day I booted her out, my mother turned up. Oh. And, uh, Did she have words? As Twinkie was stood there, shivering in the yard. Oh. My mother scooped her up oh. into her gentle loving arms. Uh, yeah. And took her home. What a witch. Mm. What a witch. Disgusting. She stole. That's what happened to me. Jimmy Gerald did that to me. What happened to you? Well, do you remember BBJ? Oh, I didn't want to part with BBJ. I didn't let her nails grow so far into the beds of her feet that she couldn't walk. I didn't starve her so that when I took her to the vet, he'd just say the best thing is to, you know, put her in a wood chipper or a, a paper bag or something. I can't remember. And bloody Chippy Cheryl was hidden behind us, a, a snow drift, watching the whole time. And what happened? She sent somebody... Some complete stranger that I'd been talking to for a couple of weeks who I didn't bother to find out who it was. It was Jimmy Cheryl's bloody sister-in-law. Never. And uh, I, I could barely part with Baby Jet. Broke my heart to stand at the top of the stairs giggling while Pete couldn't get her out the door fast enough. Jimmy Cheryl, that was. Shocking. Shocking stuff. I was on to the police. Yeah. They told me to fuck off, <laughs> but... <laughs> when I'm back in Canada, I'll be dragging her through every court in the land. You know, you know what it's like, Meryl. I don't know, because I think she was a little bit upset last night. Oh, Chippy Cheryl? Yeah. I don't know. I never listened to her. I never listened to her. Don't care what she's got. What did she say? <laughs> she said you better watch your step. I'm not scared. She said, that Meryl, she likes to eat worm food. <gasps> and she better watch her step. That's what she said. Oh, I'm not scared. My husband's a black belt in origami. <laughs> Do you eat worm food? I'll eat out if I'm hungry <laughs> enough, you know me, chubs. But uh, I'm not happy. Well... But still, I've got flowers. Did I tell you I've got a new friend? I've got flowers. No, I don't think you mentioned it. Yeah, I've got a friend. She bought me flowers. And now I'm standing in for inner lunch hour on my phone because she's very, she's very dear to me now. And that's what people do. Is that all she wanted then, friendship? Yes, of course. That's all she wanted. Uh, so I was very, very happy. To welcome her. Very happy. I bet he is. He's so happy when he sees her, he lifts her up. Does he? He does. Give her a big kiss. Yeah, it's, it's very close, you see. Aww. It's cultural. Yeah. It's cultural. That's a gentle cultural gentle love. Gentle cultural love, that's that's it, yeah. Yeah, they got on very well. I got on well with her, she loves me. Oh, she's always telling me I'm pretty. And do you know what? When we went out for coffee at uh, the university cafeteria the other day, loads of women came up to me and said, you are very pretty. That happens to you all the time, doesn't it? Oh, I'm Jobs. always spotted out in public. Yeah. Yeah. Racing up to take photos and, and tell you how pretty you are. Yeah. And beautiful hair. 
Yeah, uh, thousands, w- thousands have photographed me. Wonderful makeup, wonderful makeup. And they're all, you know, they're all so loyal because they never post the pictures on the no, internet. No, well, very loyal. This is what happens, you see. You never believe what they've done to Teardrop now. What? Doxter? No. Doxy? Did you ever see me dox anybody today? No. Not today. No. I did last week. I did. I've doxed quite a few people. It's not my fault. No. It's not my fault. You're driven to it, aren't you? Driven Meryl? to it. The days of me playing Mr Nice Guy are over. I'm not putting up with it no more. I've put up with it for years. Well, you've never said out, have you? Charming. <laughs> put up with it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows anything about me. Nobody knows what that chip and shell's put me through. And the rest of them. Well, let me tell you this. This gossip. Oh, go on. Well, it's go not on. really gossip. It's fact. Go on, fact. So, this uh, American... Massive American TV corporation company type deal. They want to make a program about me. <gasps> oh, I've heard talk of the journalist. Yeah, it wasn't a journalist. It was a huge, massive TV exec. Oh. In fact, I think it was the CEO of the corporation. Oh. Came to interview me. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Did he compliment you on your following? He, not only that, he said, I'm beautiful. <gasps> oh, well. And well. he said, you're not as fat as they say you are. No. And... He said, I went and interviewed this um, this little teeny channel. I think he was called um, Macquarie's Eye Club. Macquarie's Eye Club. Macquarie's Eye I know, you know him. him. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. heard of him. Yeah, they said they went to interview him, but he wasn't up to calibre. He ah. wasn't the calibre they were looking for. Well, no. You know. What, what they investigated, hate and bullying, and bullying and hate. Well, it's all about me. Yeah. So it's about how I get treated. On YouTube. Ah, uh, bullying hate. Yeah. Well, when you do with you, do you forward him to me? Because I've been the I've been the butt of bullying hate. Everybody's just giving me a terrible time and I don't know why. I'm wonderful. I might not send you this fella, but I could you know who I could send you? Go on. FBI Frank. FBI Frank. He did marvellous for me. Well, so you told me. Yeah. So marvelous. you told me. Marvellous. Perhaps send him round. You know. But anyway, yeah, I'm a good Muslim woman now, I forgot that bit. And you know what else they're saying now? I'm not a good Muslim because I don't pray and uh, I don't stick to the pillars of Islam. Well, of course, I don't know, don't know what they are. Oh, I don't know what the pillars are. I wear a hijab. Pillars of Islam? It's some or other. I wear a hijab and that book's on my coffee table. What more do they want? The rest of it's between me and Allah. Pillars of Islam, I've heard of that. Pillows you're thinking of. Oh. Pillows. Pillow mountain is what you're thinking of. Because I got very confused for a year or two after me after I took my shahada, hada, you know, when I became very demure. <laughs> Your shahada? My shahada. Uh, I'll have to look it up and get back to you on how you say it. But uh, I've become very demure since then. <laughs> Put my hijab on. Don't swear much. Let me suck my fupa balls. I know. I- I've heard you, though, before you eat, you always say, bitch miller. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes it's a beauty bite. But old habits die hard. It's between me and Allah. <laughs> that bloody chippy channel. Chins. See, she's got chins. She calls me chins. <laughs> and she wears a ponytail. My hair under this hijab, like the Kardashians, all put together. I won't hear any other. Jobs are you doing Vlogmas this year? Well, I want to. But it's a bit hard on your own. So I was thinking if I could get a blow-up doll. Yeah. And stick a bit of a slummy wig on it. Yeah. Do you think people would notice? Of course they wouldn't. Look at what you've got away with all these years, girl. I mean, they got away with it with, with Feline, didn't yeah. they? You know, just shoving the odd inflatable arm or foot in it. Get your grandma to wiggle her foot about a bit on screen. Well, it's a bit wrinkly. Put a sock on her. She'd be right. Can she get her socks on? I can get my socks on. <laughs> Stood up, though. No. Don't be daft. I'm... Put anything on, stood up for years. Cool, blimey, girl. Don't be a bitch, I'll block you. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. You're out. Moron. <laughs> Suck my fooper balls. Oh, you're in the mood now, aren't you? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. It's lovely to hear from you, chumps. Anyway, did you want to put an order in or not while you're here? For the unilicity. <laughs> no, because you've never even learned to say it right. <laughs> So I'm not confident in that product. <laughs> you this is it. Oh, it's summer or other, it's shards anyway. Well, it's a scam, isn't it? Well, it, yeah. Well, no, it's not a scam. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's very authentic, bit like yourself, authentic, MLM scheme. 
Let's go. Uh, no, it's M L M. You know, like M G M. Yeah. Oh, it's like that. O D. It's a scam. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> All right, it's a scam. Don't tell anybody. Oh no. Don't let that leak. My lips are sealed. Nobody knows. They're Except all morons. Except for the meat and cheeseburgers. Uh, chippy channel. Hater. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Grandma's calling me. All right then. Hey, lovely to hear from you. Yeah. Catch up with you next week. Yeah, I've got to go clean the commode. All right. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>